While the Cats put together a strong effort to beat the Cards, it's been a tough season for their offense. Going into the U of L game, Kentucky went 0 for 2 in Vegas as the team struggled to come up with offense, particularly from outside the arc. So, is the missing piece of the puzzle Brad Calipari? Coach Cal's son has flourished from behind the three-point line since he transferred from Kentucky to Detroit Mercy, where he's shooting 45% beyond the arc. And that's where he's taking most of his shots from Ryan. I don't think he's the missing piece on this team. I think this is exactly what Brad needed to do, and I'm super happy for him. Kudos to him. I mean, the guy has worked his butt off his entire career. He wasn't getting a shot here to play, especially with the guards we had coming in this year. So he's found a home at Detroit Mercy shooting lights out from the field. Yeah. Now, if you take away the way he started, I think he started like 0 of 6. You take that out, and he's shooting like 55% yeah. from three-point land for Detroit Mercy. Very happy for Brad. Worked himself into the starting lineup. Yep. You know, this is it's a place where he can be just Brad, right? Yeah. He doesn't have to be That's Cal's right. Son. That's right. Guess who will be on, that, on the schedule next year? Oh, yeah. Kentucky will play Detroit next year. You wait and see. I hope so. I hope yeah. so. Elsewhere in the world of basketball. Evansville head coach and former Kentucky star Walter McCarty has been placed on administrative leave pending an investigation into alleged violations of the school's Title IX policy. While the school's statement doesn't get into specifics, it does spell out some troubling allegations. It reads, quote, the university has received reports of unwelcome conduct by Coach McCarty since his arrival in March of 2018. We have counseled him about his behavior. In the last two weeks, the university received a troubling report about Coach McCarty's interaction with a member of the campus community. And quote. The statement also reads, UE will not tolerate any behavior from any university employee or student that jeopardizes the safety and security of others. Of course, McCarty made headlines after Evansville beat UK earlier this season. Ryan, um, that's tough because the allegations have now spanned over a year. Yeah. Uh, Walter McCarty, I'm going to say, is my favorite Kentucky Wildcat of all time. So this troubles me to hear this. But if these allegations are true, his coaching career at the University of Evansville is over. And he may never have another head coaching job ever again. I don't think, I think and, you're right. And deservedly so. I mean, these are serious allegations. And if they are found out to be true, his college career, coaching career, is over. Yes. I mean, there's no doubt about it, over. That's why University of Evansville had no choice but to take these, take these actions. Yeah, I mean, they've already counseled him. Like, he was already... In, in a spot yeah. where he couldn't do anything more. And, yeah. and so, I, it, it bothers me. This, yeah. this story really bothers me. Yeah. All right, in other news, the city of Lexington ended 2019 by breaking the record number of homicide cases from the year before. A Christmas Day shooting death tied the 2018 number of 28 homicides, and a 29th case occurred days later. While that number seems high, there are several factors to take into consideration. Police Chief Lawrence Weathers says there's no reason to push the panic button as the overall crime rate is down 5% from a year ago. While he says he'd like for the homicide number to be reduced, he also stresses that Lexington, given its size, is a safe city and that behind most shooting deaths is a shooter and quite possibly a victim who had legal issues which began well before their tragic confrontation. I think everybody here realizes that uh, those homicides are based on some of the circumstances that people might be involved in. None of them are random. Your chances of becoming a victim of a homicide if you're not involved in um, any kind of circumstances that lead you down that road are very low. Ryan, that doesn't necessarily make it easy for any family members who suffered um, losses due to homicide, but I generally feel safe in the city. Oh, I, I, I do feel safe, and our police force does, I think, a wonderful job in this city. It is troubling, though, that it seems like a lot of our victims and a lot of the people that are pulling the trigger seem to be younger and younger. I mean, that's where, yeah. that's where it seems to really be a problem, and, and I think our police force knows that, and they're trying to make efforts to keep that from happening. But that's where I think it troubles me as a yeah. dad and as you as a mom yeah. that, you know, these younger victims seem to be propping up more and more in our city. Yeah, I feel safe. I worry more for my kids. That's right. For sure. Yeah. All right. Now to our weekly feature on Hey Kentucky, What's the Beef? Brought to you by the Kentucky Beef Council. We've been talking about the controversial pardons by former Governor Matt Bevin. Now we've learned that Republican Attorney General Daniel Cameron has formally requested an FBI investigation of them. The move has drawn praise from Kentucky Democratic leaders. And that's tonight's edition of What's the Beef? Up next on Hey Kentucky, some Lexington High School students put their creations to the test in a battle of the bots. Drew Franklin takes us to a unique competition for engineering students at Dunbar High School right after this.